ABC presents High Adventure in the Vast Reaches of Space. Missions of Daring in the Name of Interplanetary Justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! Commander Buzz Corey's vast battle cruiser, Terra 5, rests in its rocket chute at the spaceport. The daring young commander of the space patrol is just coming aboard to make ready to send his ship blasting off into space on a mission that will take him to the planet Earth. Do we have to wear these things all the way to Earth? They're not very comfortable, you know. I suppose we can take them off. You'll be locked up anyway. And that's more like it. Here, Hap. Right, sir. Tonga, check the aft compartment. Certainly, Commander. Try that again. I'm sorry, Commander. I wasn't expecting it. Commander, I hope the way he acted won't influence your decision to remove the handcuffs. Get back there. What happened? Is everything all right? It is now. I got eight counts against me on Earth. They're not taking me back. Forget it, Herrick. You'll never outsmart Corey. He'll never give you another chance to make a break. The difference between you and me, Klinger, is that you're yelling. Corey doesn't scare me. And if he or anybody else tries to stand in my way, it'll be the last move they make. Because I'm getting out of here, understand? Stand by to fire rockets. Standing by, sir. Fire rockets. Fire rockets. Commander, I've got it all figured out. Mm -hmm. We'll cross the orbit of that space station at exactly the same time as the space station's in this position. Yeah. What's so interesting about an old space station that's been deserted for years? Well, gee, Commander, it's like a page out of history. And besides, every other time we've made a trip to Earth, we've always passed the space station on the other side. I've never even got a good look at it. Anybody hungry? Yes. Coming right up. <laughs> You know, Commander, I'm sure glad we brought Tonga along on this trip. Even though she is the assistant to the security chief, she's also a very good cook. <laughs> Here. 
Stand clear of the door. Keep it. I don't want any. Hey, we could use something as that. Let's go. Okay, we're seated. Come on in. Don't try it. I've done it. I know how to use it. Get the door. You know, Commander, uh, we could pull right up alongside of that space station and get a real close look at it. Uh-huh. We're, uh, just a couple minutes away from it. I thought Tonga said she had some food. Yes, yeah, she did. And boy, am I hungry. <laughs> Have to take over. Maybe she needs some help. Thanks, right, sir. That we've got trouble. You mean she's really mad? She's not back there. It means only one thing. Somehow, Eric and Klinger got her back in their compartment. Well, the rockets, Commander, what are we going to do? Now, listen carefully. No. I don't want anything to do with this. You're just going to get yourself in deeper. <laughs> You're in just as deep as I am. So you might just as well cooperate. All right. What's the plan? Eric! Klinger, I know you have Tonga back there. Good. And we don't have to explain it to you. What's that life worth to you, Corey? Start talking. Open the door. Now hand your gun in. Stay there, plain sight where I can see you. We're coming up. Into the cockpit. Move! Hey, what's going on anyway? Never mind, bright boy. Just do what you're told. I haven't been told anything yet. Change course. Circle Earth, head for the night side. Come on, quit stalling. What do you say, Commander? I'd have to go ahead. Circle. Now! gonna get out of this now. Just leave it to me, Clinger. We're not far from the surface of Earth. So what do we do? Jump? We don't expect this ship to fly, do we? Damned halfway into the side of this old space station. Jetpacks, Clinger. We'll use jetpacks and spacesuits. Yeah. Yeah, you may have something like that. 
just stick with me. Hey, what are you trying to do? Just gonna make sure Corey doesn't follow us. He may find some way to get the ship loose. Wait a minute. We can kill two birds with one stone. Without this, the ship won't fly. So what's the matter with Prager? We're gonna need money when we get to Earth, aren't we? Have you any idea what a tube like this costs? You're the engineer. Why, we can hock this tube for at least 10,000 credits. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's find those space suits. are in the, in the airlock. You're right, Tom. We are losing altitude. Did you say losing altitude, sir? Yes, Happy. Space Station was traveling at a speed that balanced it against the gravitational pull of Earth. And the impact of our ship's tracking it threw enough balance. Now we're being pulled toward the Earth's surface. Oh, wait a minute, Commander. If we're stuck into the side of the space station, why can't we fire our rockets and use them to put the space station back on its orbit? That's what we're going to try to do. Won't fire. Commander, Commander, I just remember. What is it? As I was starting to come to, I, I heard him saying something about about a tube. They did. They took the main power tube. Pat six spacesuit, spacesuit. They'd have to climb through here and get out through the station's hatch. <laughs> Commander, you were right. Two spacesuits are missing. Tom, they're trying to remember. How long ago did they leave? It was a couple of minutes ago, I I'm sure. Here. You stay here. You know what to do in case they return. Right, Commander. leading to the exit hatch. That's it there. It's got to be. Okay, let's go.
in the spaces. Take that chance. We've got to get that tube. You must have secured it from the inside. Did you hear that? Corey's caught up with us and we can't get out of the hatch. You got us into this now. Get us out. Take your dirty hands off of me. I'll take them off like this. That was a mistake, Klinger. Hey, Klinger! Listen to me. The space station was thrown off its orbit. We're falling toward Earth. We can pull out if you give us that tube you took. Did you hear that? We're in as much danger as they are. It's a trick. I don't believe it. Corey! Commander Corey, we're trapped in here. The hatch is jammed. Stop! Listen to me. Unless you want to crash, hand over that tube. Okay, Corey, I'll open up. Come and get it, Corey. the ship, we have one more chance. And we're getting awfully close to the surface of the Earth. Happy prime a cosmic missile. Cosmic missile, now I get it. Hurry up. What are you going to do, Commander? Fire a series of cosmic missiles. A recoil may throw us off the collision course. Missile prime, sir. Okay, half as I fire them, you prime another one. Right. Here we go. Number two. Number three. Number four. Commander, Commander, we're turning. Number five. It's 
the last one coming up, Commander. Prime it. Number six. I did it. We're okay. We're safely back in an orbit around Earth. Hot rock. What about the tail with your fingers? Oh, Where are they? Don't worry about them. They're harmless. We left them back there in... Commander, company! Oh! <laughs> Eastman's crew, we're really stuck to the space station. This time they'd better wear those. I know what you mean, sir. You're not going to put those things on me. Oh, no. no. Having trouble, Hap? Uh, no, Commander, don't worry about it. <laughs> when I start to put handcuffs on a prisoner, I put them on. <laughs> hey, Pappy. Well, how did that happen? <laughs> Dries. You mean they seal up the entrance? That's right. Spoken rockets buried alive. <laughs> For the outcome of this dangerous situation, be sure to see The Mystery of Ancient Egypt in the 30th century next week on Space Patrol. Even now along the space lanes, events are taking place that will mean more thrills and some exciting action for Buzz Corey and Cadet Happy. So be sure to be with us next week and every week for thrills and excitement with the Space Patrol. The preceding program, originally telecast by ABC in Hollywood, has come to you by special video recording. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.